Hello out there ladies and gents, so next up in our video series for Final Fantasy XV we're going to be looking at Advanced Elementary. Now I've actually covered Elementary in its basic form, how to actually draw out magic and how to make magic flasks and all that kind of thing in another video. So if you haven't caught that one yet go back and have a look and that will tell you exactly what you need to do to actually be able to draw and start creating magic flasks. This one however I'm going to be showing you how to make even more powerful Ma magic. So, what I'm going to do first is I am just going to get rid of this thunder so I've got a magic flask free to show you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a magic flask which combines all of three elements plus an item as well. And I'll show you exactly what happens when I'm going through it. So, I've selected my magic flask. I'm going to be putting in all of my elements here to make it as powerful as I can. So once we reach up to a certain potency, it will actually level up. If you go above 99 potency, it will level up to the next skill. As indicated by my other magic flask on the right there, I have a Tricast, a Blizzara, and Fyra. It's because my potency actually went over 100 and became the next level of skill. So from here, I also want to put an item in. And now, in the bottom left, it will tell you exactly what the skill is actually going to do. It changes with all of the different items that you can put in. You also gives you. Um, you can also use ingredients to put in there as well. You can also use treasures that you found as well, and they really do make a huge amount of difference dependent on what you actually put in here. As you can see there, I've got things like quarter cast two, jewel cast. Xperia cast, I got loads and loads of different things in here. So just have a look through here and just see what's actually going to combo best with the magic that you're building up. Now, remember, you don't have to use all three at the same time. I can just use fire and ice, for instance, and then just put a item in here, and that will be absolutely fine. So that is how you go about making some really powerful magic. Now, my Blizzara. Fire actually casts Blizzara and then fire it around up to two times. It does a massive amount of damage. I'm only level 14, I think, at the minute, or level 7, even sorry. And I was doing two and a half a thousand damage against Flans that I was fighting yesterday with that skill. Absolutely huge damage on that magic. So, when you actually get around to making your own magic flasks. I really would recommend combining all of the magics and then putting a catalyst or an item in there as well to actually make an even bigger difference. Make sure once you've actually done that you equip it as well. Go into your gear, onto Noctis, and then you can just equip it like anything else. There's a whole different spells tab in the top there for you to equip it, so make sure you do that. Thank you very much for watching though guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have found this useful. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, leave me a comment below, all that lovely fan doobie tastic stuff. If you didn't like it or if it hasn't helped you, please hit that dislike button but tell me why in the comments below what I can improve on. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one.